Okay, looks like I'm live. Uh, going to head and uh, play some games tonight. So, uh, in a very special stream, play Mega Man X3. Um, you know what I always like to say at the start of the stream is the best way to support me in the channel is to like, comment, and subscribe. Whether uh, it's here on Twitch, follow all the info is about on the channel. You can f subscribe on YouTube. Uh, where I upload these files in a timely manner, as well as the podcast and other videos. And you can follow on Twitter for fun tweets and other updates as well. Yeah, so this is one of my favorite Mega Man, uh, at least in the Mega Man uh, X series, Mega Man 3. For some reason, I feel like it gets shit on a lot. Like Everyone loves the first Mega Man X games, and I think, I don't know, it's kind of hard to say, pinpoint negative criticism against it. Um, I think like they kind of build on the games in, like in the, I'm sure it was three where they add like different robots you can spawn, like the robot suits, um, you can upgrade your, um, armor, like that's an, one thing I can say that's negative is like each armor upgrades has an additional one, but you can only choose one as a secondary. I always like to get a double dash, but all that. And then... I like to play on zero, and that's probably one of my biggest complaints too. Is that uh, if you play as zero, if you die, he's gone for good. So they kind of like penalize you for playing as zero. But let me get things started. So you've seen the game. There you go. And let's get to it. I did uh, title the stream as a part one. I'm trying to think how long it's going to take me to beat this game on stream. Um, I'm trying to think how fast to go. We'll see. So it might be a two-parter or something, because usually I stream for a little over an hour, typically. Because I was going to do another series on the channel is Donkey Kong Country 3, so kind of the third game of these beloved SNES games. Yeah, so we're here with Zero. He's going to clear the enemies out here, and we're going to go ahead and go inside. I always like how they kind of built Zero up as kind of like a badass, like, uh, a superior, uh, Maverick. That's what you call the Maverick Hunter. No, yeah, you're Maverick Hunter. He's, it feels like you, uh, upgrade and all that with either the different pieces or get the little heart things to increase your health, too. That's the one thing about fun with the Mega Man uh, X games is that you feel like as you progress you get um, uh, better. Whether it be the parts, the powers, or the oh yeah, and the energy tanks as well. Just power through this. And the opening levels are pretty fun as well. It also good music. Uh, how do you say maybe for the first Mega Man X game? I think maybe it has the best, or at least the most memorable. Oh, we got. I, I can't even remember this guy, Mac. Wait, was he trying to... I didn't even pay attention to be tricked us and stuff like that. Like, he was trying to help out and trapped us. I had complete space on that, but oh well. Bye, X. It was kind of funny how they introduced how you can be zero. Especially like where you see his full life gauge. Oh, good music as well. Let's get hit. I kind of feel like in other games they kind of limit his move set to just be the saber, which is kind of iconic. I kind of wish you can use your saber a little bit more here. Usually, yeah, you get the super boost, uh, power boost all the way. Ugh. Power through. Gives you two shots and then uh, the saber. I think that's maybe the fun thing with other future Mega Man X games, which I don't think I beat them. And they go boom! Nice! I remember back in the day, I think it was for GameCube initially, they had a Mega Man X collection. Oh, I forgot, I have to. <laughs> Free Mega Man. But Game, I'm pretty sure it was GameCube had a Mega Man X collection. I'm not sure how far it went. But I remember playing 4. 
I do have it on Switch. I almost kind of want to get a Steam version because it's easier to uh, stream on uh, games from my tongue tied uh, from my Steam library versus my Switch. Although that's one thing I'm um, considered is getting some way to uh, like a, one of those capture cards or whatever and stream from a Switch. I got this big old robot. It's not too bad. Pretty simple. You just gotta charge up and blast. Oh. I feel like this first stage is a lot more forgiving than other Mega Man games. Like their intro stages, too. Okay, going back to headquarters. Later. Hey, codes, that's one thing. Although with updated collections, you can, um, uh, what you want to call it, uh, have safe slate states. That is a different way to get different info on these levels. But I always like to play the tiger first, so Neon Tiger. That's how I start my boss order. Of course, like the Mega Man class, it's classic for different bosses to have different weaknesses and it's like an order to beat them in. I don't have to in the sense that you can beat pretty much any boss with the regular buster. I like this one. Oh, I remember this song too. This is a good song. I like the vibe of this level. That's another fun thing about these Mega Man games, especially in later ones where you want to revisit previous levels you've been to. Uh, so you can... I know this one, I think it has arm power, but you need the Rhino Drill to get it. So maybe this wasn't the best one to start it as. There's an energy tank up there. Come on. Can you get up? up? Thank you. Come on. Fly that way. Thank you. Just like that. Already got an energy tank. Oh. Oh, crap. No, oh, no. Oh. And that's a death trap. There's little spikes. There's stubborn little spikes. Oh. Yeah, and then kind of go back to ranting about playing as zero out of this game. Is that it's one of the best. Uh, it was a really cool, I don't want to say the best, but it was a really cool uh, thing they did in this game. They can play as Zero after all this time, um, but if he dies, then he can't play him ever again. And I don't know why they did that. It's going to be something that's uh, careless as falling in a death trap or falling into spikes. Um, especially if they give him like that full uh, health gauge. Um, it's kind of hard to lose all your health. It can't happen. And then the times that he switches out, like you get to like the mid boss, or of course the boss, you can't use zero against the bosses. So, of course, in other games you can you drill for that. I don't know why they did it that way. Like it would make sense that at least because Mega Man can die, and he doesn't. You don't can't ha you can keep playing the game. But yeah, that, that was probably one of the biggest disappointments. Wonder if that's why this game gets all the negativity. In terms of like saying, oh, it's the worst, like the first game's the best, this one's trash, whatever. Is it the decision they made with Zero? But another game is you can play as him, which I still need to play, but yeah, probably the one of the biggest complaints, down points about this game. Oh, got him. Little centipede little boss. As I charge these, it's a little charging sound throughout the... 
Yep, just a little thing. Oh yeah, the robot pad. These these were fun, but I think you need you need one or at least two. I forget the requirements. Get walk straight into that. But we had a checkpoint, so how many lives do we have? Okay, one extra one. Because that sometimes you you know get in luck and get a lot of lives and get comfortable. Like oh, I can die a couple times, and all of a sudden like shit. Oh shit! There was a... I forgot to get the heart. I think it was early on the level. I can always go back to the stage and leave. I'm trying to think, can you exit stages? If you, I don't want to test it out. But I think you have to beat the stage in order to exit it. Let's see, maybe this will be a longer series if I uh, keep losing. Right. Bus. Oh. I forgot. Uh, there's the. Is it bit and bite? I believe that when you get as you beat a certain amount of bosses, they show up and you fight them. I think two did a cool job with that. There was like I forget what they were called, but there's three of them, and then they had secret uh, rooms. You gotta watch out. This guy creates the death spikes. I tried to make them in two, but there was like three of them. I don't know if it's like the Maverick Hunter Hunters or something like that. Uh, but if you beat them, you get zero's parts. And that was the thing, like, if you don't get them, zero doesn't come. But if you do, there's a point that zero comes. Because it's like a, a zero clone that they make. And if you do get all those parts, then... Um, I don't think if anything's up here. Oh, shoot. I doubt it, but I just want to be sure. Oh, yeah, there's a heart. Never mind. I'm good. I'm good. For some reason, I thought that was in the big earlier in the level. And that was the cool thing about too that if you get beat the side bosses, then you avoid fighting the zero clone robot. So don't think I can beat him, but we got an extra life just because I'm slow. This has a pretty simple pattern. Boom. Yep, easy. Oop. And... Oop, shit. Oop. Mixing it up. Let's see if I can beat him. Oh, my brother's tuning in, so thanks for chiming in. Okay, the X-Hunters. Okay, my uh, brother's giving me some little trivia. Yep, crap. Okay. Oh, Uh, I should take my time because I think if you kind of like shoot him and he blocks, it kind of like resets his pattern. Yep. Yeah. Gonna, gonna have to replay this level soon. Okay. Shit. Oh, shoot. Quit it. Quit it. Damn it. Okay, I'm dedicated to beat him first, but we got an energy tank, so we just have to fill it. I found oh, oh I know it's set on this pattern of boss order, but 
I can always keep playing different stages. Because that's the one thing if you, like, struggle, you can go to the next stage and get more of the heart things to increase your health. Or find more... What you want to call it? Energy tanks, but... Ah, uh, shit. I know some of them require you to have certain powers and all that. Yep. I don't think we can get the dragonflies to attack other enemies. Ugh. I'm trying to think of uh, more Mega Man lore because I think is it Doppler, Doctor Doppler, like the main villain of this game, and then ends up being Sigma because it's always Sigma. And I think it kind of changed the formula because, and it, you know, of course, in regular Mega Man games, it's Doctor Wily, and it was Sigma. I forgot. I thought that was like I forget what the Doctor Light s kind of character is and. Make my X series like Doctor. I want to say Kane, but I'm not sure if that's correct or not. Come on, uh, yes, fill up the little health tank. Oh, okay, yeah. For some reason I thought he wasn't showing up because I beat him last time, but he's not. You always had to fight the mini boss every time you played the stage. I just realized this now, uh, you can double tap the direction to dash, usually you always hit the dash button. Which is usually helpful, especially with wall jumping. But that was kind of helpful with just running, so... Let's see, but I believe it's Toxic Seahorse is where you get the... Is that where you get the dash, or is that where you get the extra dash? Oh, more health. At least you dropped something good this time. A batter. And it's trying to get mixed up with like where you get the first parts and where you get the upgraded secondary parts, even though you can only choose one of the four. I'm trying to think, what did the head do in this game? Because the arms, I think, yeah, you get the arms on this level, but you need the rhino drill. And... Because the arms give you an extra power shot, charge shot. I think the upgrade one gets you like a. I know there's one that gives you a special gauge. I almost want to see what does the head do? Does the head give you the map of the level? Is or I think I think it does in this game. I think. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure that that the head gives you uh, the helmet gives you that power up because I know in the first game, Mega Man X, you can destroy blocks above you. Mega Man X2, I think you can like keep shooting these little signals out to find secrets, but I think in this game you can kind of like a map that shows you where, even though it's a little uh, simple, but it kind of shows you like, hey, these are where possible power-ups are, or the stage layout, even though it's just squares. Oh shit! Because the instant death spikes. Let's see, I should have one extra life. And a little over half a tank, so. I don't think if there's any good remix uh, of this uh, soundtrack. I think like all the good Mega Man music I've heard that's been like remixed or covered or remade or whatever is from the first game. Like, because I didn't realize how like. Much the Storm Eagle song slaps, and the like Spark Mandrill is pretty good. Even that uh, Armadillo song is pretty fun. So it's kind of weird if you don't know the context, like the Armadillo song. Right, let me just kind of blast through. And they gotta be careful with those the little digger box. And I said digger with a D, even though it was a hard R. Those digger things. You know, they just dig up spikes. Or whatever. 
I can say, uh, Digger with a hard R because no one's watching. I'm not famous. It's, it's not like I'm PewDiePie. I don't have to worry about being in the fishbowl lens or whatever. Okay, there you go. You know what's a game that was really fun that's kind of X-Men, X-Men, Mega Man X-related? It's an RPG game they had, the Command Mission one. I don't think that would be, I don't know if that's worth paying on stream, because I think some of those RPG games are a little time-consuming, but I feel like that's underrated. I kind of wish that would be ported more, but I believe this Command Mission, oh shoot. Come on, don't do that. Okay, there you go. Oh, shit. Damn it. Okay. I'm gonna give it my all. Ugh. Okay. Let's see what it's gonna do. Okay. Oop. Look at that slash who's throwing me off. Uh -oh. Okay. Oh. Got it. Okay. Oof. I think this is a good way to hit him, but his bullets kind of track me. I think got it. Come on. Oh. Oh. Calm down. Quit it. Okay. I think when you get the power that's he's weak against. A lot of these bosses become very, very easy if you have the weakness. Come on. I'm not sure if the time frame. Okay. Like, come on. Don't do that. I don't think he gives me a good window to shoot him. He does that. But... Got him. Just like Wolverine, but a tiger. So not Wolverine. But we'll beat him anyways. For now. I've got I'm not sure if the I think the main Mega Man game series said that, but especially Mega Man X when you get to the final stages, like there's a Bosch Rush mode. But now next is the Gravity Beetle. Oh, I didn't even use my energy tank, so I can fill that up. I think there's something up here, eventually. I'm trying to think if this game have that, uh, I know in Mega Man X, like, if you beat one boss, another person's stage is different. So I wonder if that happens here, or if I can just drill those. Like, for example, if you beat Chill Penguin, then the Mammoth level uh, doesn't have lava. Like, it's been cooled down. And I forget the other ones, too, but I know there was, like, something like if you beat this level, then it affects the uh, layout of the next level, of a, a different level. I feel like there's a little bit more with that with Mega Man X. But it escapes me. 
like how levels can have alterations or variations if you beat certain, uh, beat in a different order or all that. Nope, nothing here. Going. Oh yeah, that's a robot, but I need the... I'm not sure if I'll do it in between streams or just use the kill time in the stream is to kind of go back to these stages and get this power pit. That was one of the armors. One of the more easiest one to get. And maybe I should have done a rhino because I realized the rhino power up lets you find a lot of stuff. Ah, oh, shit. Come on. Yes. Just trying to get that to fill up my tank. Oh, shit. Be careful. I'm so used to shooting those missiles that I forget he shoots his little upward bombs. What's up here? I have a little suspicion. Oh, it's just a robot pad. And I don't have no, got no robot suits, so. Oop. Oh shit! At least move. I think you have to drill through this because I'm trying to think. I think this is like the secondary. Uh, I think the armor. I think the armor thing gives you the thing where it, like it destroys all enemies on the screen, besides bosses. I think the just regular one gives you the little shield if you get hit to help reduce damage. Hmm. Wait, okay, I did get that free guy, so... Okay. So I'll use the X-Buster to see preserve energy. And... Uh... If I don't beat this time, I'll use his weakness on him. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. I figured. Sometimes I really wish I had more people in chat because someone just made a sequelitis reference. I shouldn't think if this makes it much easier now because some weaknesses like totally destroys the boss. I think the drill does a uh, a good job on. I think the what you call it? Like I forget the ice guy's name. Oh, he cancels out of that. Okay, yep, easy peasy. Oh yeah, and his uh, get against a hornet boss. <laughs> he makes it pretty easy too. So let's see if I can cheese through more Mega Man X bosses. Oh, the watches. I skipped it last time. The 3D little wireframe effect. You got the gravity well. That's what I should play. Uh... Oh, he's the Doppler and then Bit and Bite, if I remember. Powerful. Yep, bit and bite. I have. I think later in the game they fuse together. 
make like a centaur like boss. Spoilers. In this game, like you have to fight them versus. Oh, you remember this guy? Oh, I think this is secret. I think you can secretly fight him. I think certain stages have where you can go to a, a spate. Fight. God, what is his name I can get? This is in the first pigment exit, but I forgot his name. Okay, remember that password. Okay, time to be the hornet. Oh, get that. Oh well. That's a fun song too. I'm trying to think if I can get the secret upgrades in this level. How easy they are. But too bad I'm not paying Mega Man's. What? What is the Mega Man game? Is it five or six? But this. A Mega Man game where you, the weapon's called the N Bomb. I looked up so that way I can uh, get the N Bomb on stream. Ah, shoot. Hopefully that's nothing too good. I'm not sure if that's an upgrade pad or not. Oh, no. I definitely need a dash shoot. And get anything good on the stage. Might have to back. Okay, well, we needed uh, a free uh, re refresh on life as well. Hmm. I'm trying to think where you get the uh, dash upgrade because I'm pretty sure the Seahorse one is the secondary one. Screw myself. Oh, never mind. Go trust the elevator. Damn it. Uh, if only had a rush. Oh well. Nope. No! Shit. That was too... Oh. Okay, I think it's mini-boss time. Let's see. Oh yeah, the star. The Star David, let's take it out. A different David, not the David you're thinking about. Ah. Uh, take that. Oh, shit. Victory is ours. Victory is Mega Man's. At least I think that's a checkpoint. Ooh, and I, I did think about a story that's that the stage brought up. Uh, back in the day, I was subscribed to Nintendo Power, and 
those of you remember the old school uh, Nintendo Power Magazine, they had a like a scoreboard where people can I think like you're supposed to like take pictures of like your high scores and stuff like that. It's in there like uh, like a Polaroid or get it developed and stuff like that. It's something I kind of always wanted to do, but I never really had a camera or never wanted to bother with it. I get a drill to get the robot here. Did I screw myself? Oh. Maybe, I, no, maybe I'm thinking differently. Nope, nope, I'm good. Uh, but what they had is for Mega Man X3, if you beat the Hornet first with uh, the Mega Buster, and then what you do, you can just like write down the code and send it in, and they'll a post you on the leaderboard. So I remember actually getting my name in the issue of Nintendo Power. Like they had a list of people who did it. But you beat this stage first, and then you got the password and send that in. You get your name in the magazine. I say it was like classified, or I forget what they called the little high score section of old school Nintendo Power. Yep. Back in the day, I got my name in the Nintendo Power magazine. <laughs> this is probably my life's greatest accomplishment. Uh, not gonna lie. But yeah, true story. Ooh, life. Come on. Oh shit, I didn't realize the instant kill. Hmm. I'm tempted to play a zero, but maybe a different level, because I feel like those boxes, because what you do is... Boop, there he is. But we're going to save that for later. health right here, or do I have to blast... Okay, good. I think I remember that I did blast through it. I don't have a single upgrade. I just realized that now. You haven't seen an old friend, Dr. Light. Useless. May have, just have a little fun with power ups. Yep. Nope. Or not. I'm gonna kick this boss's ass, so. With the gravity. A cute little fuchsia, lavender, whatever color you wanna call this. Turn off his stinger, but. You know what? You ain't shit. Oh. Oh shit. Nope. We're not gonna lose. Taste some Isaac Newton, bitch. Laws of gravity. I think I keep spamming it because I think I, I give him too much room to shoot those little bees, but whatever. Boom, just like that. Boom. Let's see. 
I like some power-ups are kind of useful against regular enemies and some of you just get, use them for the boss. The parasitic bomb. Sounds like my ex. Wah wah. Okay. I think this buffalo, I think that's what he, this character is. I forgot what the hornet's name was, but oh well, we won't skip this. Uh, Blizzard Buffalo. Okay, makes sense since he's the Ice Buffalo. Is there an energy tank on this level? I'm trying to remember all the upgrades. Ugh. I probably shouldn't beat the Rhino stage first. I feel like so many different like um, uh, hidden upgrades are based off. You need to drill to get to them. Oh, yeah, because we need more energy because we used it up. The mini boss. Nope. Okay. Carry on. Oh, shit. I'm thinking it might be a little sneaky, which uh, I know no one's watching or paying attention. I can just imagine like getting different devices and watching my stream just so I can get affiliate. Cause I think that's the one thing I need more average viewers. Uh, I need the, what if I need the, where do you get the dash upgrade? I forget. I need that for this energy tank, I need a drill. I think the drill, does the drill give you a, Robot armor, or is that a um, another upgrade? Oh, oh shoot. so icy. I'm not sure if this is even worth it. Nope, not worth it. What happens if I destroy this? Maybe it helps the level a little bit. Okay, let me go up there. Nope. 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 I'm not sure about that little wind thing, which I think it helped a little bit. I feel like I'm going push back, but I think this is a heart. Oh, shit. Yes. Ooh, it is an upgrade. Okay. I forget, maybe the ice. Th no, I think the icing is a heart upgrade from earliest level. Yes, a leg. Oh, yes. This is what I want. Yes. Moving on up. Upgrade. Level up. What is it? That one. What was it? Was it CSI? The level up thing with uh, Jake Paul or, or Logan Paul? Look it up. But it's like CSI trying to be more relevant. Let's see. Can I get that chip? I think I can go back and get that. Yes. Oh, shit. Um. Oh, shoot. God, that's the one thing about these old games is that you can easily respawn enemies when you don't want to. Into the air dash, but I think the there we go. 
I think the regular dash jump screws you up, but oh well. Okay. I feel like I need an uh, air dash for something else too. But on the, I think it was on the Hornet stage. I think it was just a health thing, but we can get that real quick after this. Oh yeah, that was two. So we'll go back to the Hornet stage and get those little secrets. I feel like the ice thing that you need to drill for, I think that's a, a health upgrade too. We've got, we got some brand new boots that are made for dashing and that's what they're going to do. Oh yeah, I forgot the car explodes and he jumps out. Okay. Let's see how much. What yep. I think the P bomb's gonna work out. I'm trying to think if um, it's one of the things like sometimes it's like super effective that it totally cheeses the boss, and sometimes it's like very helpful, but you still gotta think. Yep. Yep. We'll get him this time. I think maybe that would help out with his stream to stretch it out into two parts is um oh shit. Is to get power ups and stages. Get no. Get. Mm. Okay, now I'm going to make sure I have it equipped. Oh shoot, I'm wasting it too. Oh. Damn, nope. Ah, oh, nope, no! Damn it. Okay. So we want to beat half the bosses, but let's see. I need to drill, so I think they're good here. Let me at least get the robot upgrade here, just to see if it helps. Like I said, I think you need two of them. That way I can kind of... Um, If I don't get keep on getting hit, get some health. Uh, maybe if it's after you beat the stage, maybe I feel like there's less of those blocks. Maybe I can get that health too. Yes. Okay, good thing I came back here. So I got a little health, and then we'll get that robot. And maybe get something to... Yes! And that feels... I think what's kind of throwing me off a little bit is in 20XX, the, I think the air dashing is a lot easier in that game. I think they have it so that, that doing a dash jump doesn't penalize you. 
which I seen a long time ago, and you can view that on the channel, you know, youtube.com slash because uh, I beat the game on stream, and I did do, um, yes. Okay, we can exit. And then we we'll go to a horn stage, and I think there's two things we can get. But I did, uh, on a channel, I did do gameplay, no commentary of a Nina run and Axel run. I think Axel's his name. But yeah, I still gotta check out 30XX, because I really like, because it's very, like, old school Mega Mig Man X. Oh, you can even use the up directional pad to do the air dash. You jump and press up twice. But it's not as uh, easy to use. Ah, oh, it's just a robot pad. Okay. Wait, uh, let me just double check. I don't think you can use it unless you have two to choose from. Yeah. Okay. Damn it. This one's really tricky, but I'm trying to think is this Is this a health upgrade or I don't think this is a part. I'm also trying to think if you need the um for the extra upgrade it if you need to get all the base parts first or what? I do like the double dash. And I do like Mario Kart double dash. I'm not sure if it's helpful to have the robot part, but I know you can do this with the... Ah, oh, shit! I know I can do this. So we can watch me fail this a couple times, and then we'll play the Buffalo level again. Ooh. Now that that little bit of health adds much to the energy tank, but take what I can get, especially since I have two. I know I can get up there. I know that's a little bit easier with double dash, but I'm gonna try that one more time. And if I don't do it, we'll just uh, go to Blizzard Buffalo. But I know I can do that with just the one air dash. So smooth. Uh, not even one full tank. Ah, uh, almost had it. I'm not sure if the game wants you to use a robot to like jump out of the robot suit and then air dash. I mean, that's the way you were supposed to do it, but I'm, I, could, I could recall doing that. Oh, yeah. mm. Okay, filled up one tank because it made a little sound. Yes, yes, I can do it. Yes, I did. Ah. Recover energy. Uh, 
I don't want this enhancement ship. I'd rather have the double dash. I didn't realize it was the health one. Yeah, because you need the armor one. Okay. Ah. Wasted, wasted, wasted effort. <sighs> I did an impossible jump for nothing. Wait, I think the health is at the end of the level, but I need the air. You know what? Let me do this one more time. We'll just power through the stage. And then we'll do the Blizzard Buffalo and call that a stream. I'm trying to think of all the backtrack I, I do. Did we get a heart container on the beetle level? I can't remember. No, we just did. Yeah, because the blocks were gone. That's it. When we visit it. Because that's how I also got the robot armor. So we'll power through. Try to be careful so we can get some energy. Nope. Drop health, you little bastards. Drop health. Me health. Okay, time to fight the Star David. Again. I think that's Moses. That's symbolism in this game. Come on, health. Health. Never mind. <coughs> Let me make sure I'm not missing it because I feel like it's okay. So it's where the boss fight is. I think it's. I'm trying to recall the stage layout, but it's coming up. Am I st stupid? Could I get this last time? Okay, no. I definitely need the air dash to get up here. There you go. Okay, so beat the Blizzard Buffalo. Hmm. Maybe if I'm feeling spry, we might do one more boss. Because it's barely an hour stream. I thought we may all just be, uh, beat this game in two parts. I'm trying to think of the last stretch of the game because it's easy to kind of think of uh, where all the. how much time it is going to. Beat all the not the how much time it is to, to get all the uh, secrets and power ups once we get later in game because you know I have to get down here. I'm pretty sure that's a heart. Oh, almost an end to death. Let me take a quick little break, enjoy a little soft music. Nintendo, don't take down my videos. Okay, and back and make sure to take down that static image. I did take it down, right? Okay, yes, good. 
So we're going to power through this. We got some health in our tanks. So almost the expense of getting uh, gas in your tank. Am I right? Nope, no one here. Oh, now he showed up. Why didn't he show up last time? Is it because of my health or? Gotta kind of like jump with him so he does his air dash. Oh shoot. That's pretty easy pattern. Oh, shoot. My controller. You know what? I don't want to lose against him, so I'll use... Hopefully this is... Oh, shoot. This didn't bite me in the ass, but... There you go. Gonna have to have a delayed jump so he does that in a little air dash. Yeah. Got him. What are the lures between those guys? Bit and bite. I kind of feel bite is the more difficult one, the bigger guy. But you know, like end game, they like fuse together. Come on, I want to get some health. Yeah. Come on. No, ah, controller issues. Oh, technical issues. See if I can fix this. Okay, I think we're good. Okay. And make sure I have that off. It's been having a little stream issues lately because last week my computer actually crashed on stream. And all that. <clears throat> I'm not sure if this is time if I should end the stream soon, but I don't want to beat more and more boss after 
this one. Because I did waste my energy tank on that mini boss on bit. How many lives do I have? One. Okay. I'm gonna save because I think that screwed me up too. Is the God like, control the issues? God, what the heck? Ah, shit. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, let me try to fix this. God damn, white. Right? Uh. Okay, I think I'm good. Huh. Damn it, what? Huh. More temp. Come on, I think this is working a little bit better. God damn it. Hold on. You. I tried to uh, hide the 
mystery. Oh shoot. Boom. Take that asshole. Ah, control the issues, all that. We know what we'll do one more stage, hopefully. Now my dog's looking at me, so hopefully <laughs> not tell me to end the stream. That's what I said as our other streams too, like my dog knows when I'm streaming, but for the most part he's been sleeping, being good, but now he's like staring at me like, hey, feed me, take me outside, give me attention. I don't care what the power-up is, I'm still frustrated. Okay. Oh, we beat, okay, yeah, halfway there, but... Toxic Seahorse, I believe. Yep. I forget what the Hornet is, because it Neon Tiger, Gravity Beetle, Blizzard Buff Flow. I think Drill Rhino. I don't know what the catfish name is in the crawfish. But that's for another stream. Okay. I think there's a heart at the top of this part of the level. We got some health. You might hear my dog growl at me because he's kind of like trying to get my attention. Ah. Ah. More health, yay. I think we might be able to get a double dash. No mini boss? Thank you. I think as long as you have the leg chip. I'm always trying to think of this as a little catch to it or not. Or if you need the robot. What's down there? How do you get? Uh, we do need the the one the. Drill to get to that. Mm. 
Well, health, at least. Uh, how do you get the double dash? Oh, well. I gotta look that up then. Because maybe we do need the robot armor. <clears throat> okay, I think now I'm his mini boss. Those dangly legs. I think those dangly legs have a pretty generous hitbox. Like, did he even do damage? Green the swamp, green the swamp. There you go. I'm too bad I don't have an interactive chat to tell me stuff about this game. I feel like they get the double dash power, the leg up enhancement chip. You needed the robot. I think I got- I think the F1 is the one that is- works in the water. Damn it! Ugh. Let me try to look it up on my phone real quick. Look at a strategy wiki. The leg chip. Oh yeah, so I need more uh, robot because the F is a frog. One is it also if you have the arms, you can use the ice buff, the blizzard buffalo. Up oh, shoot. And like if we do a charge of the blizzard buffalo, you can make an ice block, which you can stand on. But you have to like use the fans at the end of the level to do that. Okay. I'm trying to think how to get all the robot suits. We know we can get one at the Hornets level when we get the drills. Next stream we're gonna get a lot more. But for now we're gonna beat that stupid seahorse and that, yeah, that that would be a perfect way to end the stream, because if I get the seahorse, he's the rhino's weakness, and that's going to be sweet. Dude. Then I can start next stream getting the, beating up that shit out of the rhino, and then using his power to get, upgrade my arms, to get our suit, to get the double dash. I'm going to get some fun stuff next stream. That's going to be next week because tomorrow is going to be Donkey Kong Country 3. We're going to continue that. We'll see if I'm able to beat this game within two streams. Maybe three, but if it's one of the things I give a cut short of an hour, I have a backup plan to feel content.
Okay. Yep, we'll definitely beat this seahorse's ass. Did Armstrong do any damage? I think it's just his weapons. It feels like it's threatening, but then they go niggle, did his dingle dangle around and like whatever. I'm still gonna blast you out of the water. Oh. Dog update. He <laughs> went to sleep in his bed in here, so like, oh. It usually does that like when it gets set up, like when it get like the microphone and all that hooked up to my computer and gets settled. He's like, well, there's been times like I had to walk my dog or feed them, at least not the dinner, but an extra snack before stream. Because I think he's wise to it, like he, like he knows he wants me to shut him up. And he goes, yeah, give me food. Oh, that works with me too. You can shut me up with food. Don't give me food. I'll be your best friend. Okay, we're gonna power through. Damn it! I did that last time too. Okay, you gotta be more careful. But let me see. What upgrades did I get? I did can't get the chip. I did get the heart. What else is in this level? I think once I get the helmet upgrade, it's gonna be easier. I mean, the helmet one is pretty easy, like, pretty useful if you don't have, like, online guides or anything like that, or just forget stuff. Why not have me fight the mini boss? I think it's gonna have me fight the mini boss again. <clears throat> yep. This time I just want to make sure I don't get careless. Come on. Also, I know this is kind of late uh, in the stream, but my little brother, he goes by the Quanch. That's the Q-U-A-N-C-H. Because if you're watching this, it's probably the VOD on YouTube, and I don't have chat replay visible. Unless you're watching the um, stream on Sw uh, Twitch and all that, but get my little brother. Ooh. Whew. Took ahead of myself. Okay. Now that's all right in the world, we're going to beat up a seahorse. Yep, there he is. Oh, this isn't as fun. I feel like in Mega Man X, the... I feel like he's weak. I think the Mammoth is weak against Chill Penguin. I feel like it, it like freezes him in place. Oh, this one's pretty effective. Oh, acid balls. Just like in the 70s. You know what? I'm not risking shit. I know he's almost gonna die, but... I think that saved me then. They took a hit, and... Yep. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Boom. 
And let's see, what did we get? We get Acid Ball. We're gonna drop some acid. Acid Splash. Acid... Bang. You get... Acid... Oh, Burst. That's my next guess. Remember that code. That's important. Okay, so that's gonna do it. We're gonna fight the Rhino next stream. So, uh, time to sign off. So thanks so much for watching. Likely you're watching this on YouTube. So again, the best way to support the channel is to like, comment, and subscribe. Whether it be on YouTube uh, with the VODs, as well as the podcasts and other videos. Follow on Twitter for updates and fun tweets. And follow on Twitch to catch live streams and have fun with the chat. Hopefully you can join my little brother who was in chat tonight, but oh well. I ain't no ninja, I ain't no PewDiePie, I ain't no whatever, but I'm somebody. Hopefully. Maybe. Nobody. I don't know. Anyways, take care and y'all have a good day, night, morning, whenever you're watching this. But what do you have? Hopefully it's good. Unless it's not. Bye.